Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dan Francesco, and I will be your host for this evening. Be careful what you wish for, they said. And I really wished for this to happen. Last year, when uh, I was stranded at home in the first year of the pandemic, and I really needed some advice from fellow businessmen and businesswomen, we're facing the same situation. My main area of focus were events, so I didn't have a main area of focus. I was facing a bit of a depression, and that's when I became part of an Aspen Institute online seminary, where I found my peers facing the same problems, talking openly about them and about the solutions they found for their organizations. At the end, I felt I wasn't alone. And I said, boy, I really wish I could do more. I really wish I could be a part of this. And here I am. It is an honor to welcome you all to the 11th edition of the Aspen Leadership Awards, an event which also celebrates a very special anniversary, 15 years since the foundation of Aspen Institute Romania. This event is a celebration of the Aspen community and its work for values-based leadership in the region. This evening is also a great opportunity for us to recognize the merits of individuals and organizations who left their mark on the Romanian and global society, who were innovators and examples of ethical and professional conduct in fields such as public service, research and innovation, sports or arts. Through the Aspen Leadership Awards 2021, we would also like to bring recognition to the activities and initiatives of the incredible Aspen community by introducing you to the winners of the Aspen Social Action Prize and of the Aspen Fellows Network Grant. Tonight, you will meet some of the graduates of the Aspen Leadership Programs, the Aspen Fellows and alumni who will join us to share their thoughts on the Aspen experience. The 14th generation of Aspen Institute Romanian's flagship leadership program, the Young Leaders Program, will receive their diplomas later tonight during a very special and symbolic diploma ceremony marking their official entry into the Aspen community. We thank the sponsors of this wonderful event for their devotion to the Aspen idea. Award sponsors, Raiffeisen Bank, Unicredit Bank, ExxonMobil, Ms. Catalina Yuga and Mr. Vasile Yuga. Aspen Social Action Prize sponsor Alliance Healthcare Romania, Gold Leaf sponsors Merck Class and Orion, media partner Ager Press. It is now my pleasure to welcome the acting co-president of Aspen Institute Romania, Mr. Florin Pogonaru, to offer his welcome remarks. Mr. Pogonaru, welcome. This is actually your home. Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is an honor to welcome you to the 11th edition of the Aspen Leadership Awards, a special event celebrating 15 years of the Aspen Institute Romania. This is a time when longtime members, former award winners and new beneficiaries to come together and reflect on the past year. It's been a turbulent year, which is why we are meeting vir virtually. But in the face of the pandemic and other turmoil, we've all learned that value-based leadership is the only way to foster resilience. It leads to results, sometimes even concrete recommendations for recovery, but most essentially, it provides leaders with a mindset to lead effectively in such times. Understanding its worth, it's really what brings us together. In its 15 years, the Aspen Institute has weathered business cycles and government changes since 2006, We've become the premier convening platform for nonpartisan policy debates. The Aspen Leadership Awards are an opportunity to bring recognitions to individuals or organizations that left their mark on the Romanian and global society, who were innovators and examples of ethical and professional conduct in fields such as public service, research and innovation, sports or arts. Our leadership, policy and public programs 
are unparalleled. They support, educate, and encourage individuals to reflect and act in accordance with the ideals and ideas that define a good society. Using the Aspen Method, we provide a welcome, neutral way of discussing and understanding critical issues confronting our society. The network of fellows and the alumni of our leadership program comprises over 1,000 extraordinary, extraordinary and diverse individuals from over 30 different nations, from high school students, university students, young professionals or accomplished leaders from the public sector, the non-profit sector, academia or private sector. The best long-term contribution of Aspen Institute Romania to the society is to instill these value-based ideals into the hearts of the new generation. Through the Aspen Leadership Awards 2021, Aspen Institute Romania would like to bring recognition to the activities and initi initiatives of the incredible community of Aspen Fellows and alumni. You will see tonight on stage some of the representatives of the Aspen community who had a significant positive impact during the year which is coming to an end. We thank all the members of the Institute, the Aspen Fellows and alumni and our partners and sponsors for their constant support, dedication and willingness to contribute to the good society. Thank you and enjoy the evening. And now it's, it is my honor to invite you to listen to the message of Mr. Mircea Joana, founding president of Aspen Institute Romania, deputy secretary general of NATO. Bună seara și mă bucur foarte mult să fiu, chiar și virtual, din nou parte a galei Aspen și a primilor Aspen. We have been doing this, this most unique moment and probably the most emotional moment for us, the ones who are in the big Aspen family for the last 15 years since Aspen has been founded. And there's no better and more wonderful and emotional moment than at the end of each year to celebrate our young leaders and also to express our gratitude to the most wonderful leaders that are receiving the prestigious Aspen Awards. I'm particularly happy also from a personal and professional standpoint that today the most important uh, Aspen Award on leadership bearing the name of Mihnea Constantinescu, this great, great leader in Romania, has been offered and accepted by Jens Stoltenberg, our Secretary General here in NATO. And uh, he will be telling uh, you what he thinks and how he feels about, this, about this, this award. But what we basically do in such evenings, even virtually, is to reconfirm our deep conviction in the value of leadership and in the value of value-based leadership, especially in difficult times like the ones we are now crossing. And this is a turbulence that will probably continue for some time. There is no other way than to redouble our efforts and invest in the bright young men and women that are and will be the next generation of leaders. The ones, like the 1,000 or more Aspen Fellows and alumni of the Aspen Leadership Programs have been doing for the last 15 years. And our generation should be ready to also prepare the next generation of leadership, be it in politics, be it in business, be it in civil society, be it in academia, be it in innovation or technology. That's what we do, and that's the spirit of Aspen. We also have to return, especially in difficult moments, to the core values and mission of the Aspen Institute, which is, of course, to foster value-based leadership and also to encourage a conversation, a lucid, argument-based, Aspen Method conversation on the most complex issues tormenting our human societies, our democracies, our way of life. Not hiding away from difficult conversations will find solutions to those problems, but confronting them, listening to the ones that are not necessarily in our bubble, that have different views, different arguments, probably fears and hopes like we all, all of us have. And that's the strength of Aspen. That's what the Aspen Gala, that's what the Aspen Awards, this is what the whole idea of Aspen uh, is all about. So I'm so, so happy to witness yet another generation of leaders recognized by the Aspen Awards. Again, a new generation, I think the 15th or the 16th of young leaders. 
many, many other programs of leadership, many other policy programs, many other big events like the Bucharest Forum, many, many things that we do together. For the ones who believe in the Aspen idea, for the ones supporting the Aspen Institute, for our friends in the International Aspen Institute Network worldwide, my deep appreciation and an encouragement for us to redouble our efforts and invest in the fundamental principles of democracy, of liberty, of rule of law, and of a good society. Enjoy this evening, and I hope and I know the next year we'll be doing together in person like we have done for so many years. Best of luck and congratulations to the winners of the Aspen Awards. The Mihna Constantinescu Values-Based Leadership Award is presented to a public leader that has excelled in his or her field of activity by constantly supporting and promoting the national and universal values. It gives me great pleasure to invite to the stage Ms. Alexandra Gatej, Vice President of Aspen Institute Romania, to present the Mihna Constantinescu Values-Based Leadership Award. Ms. Gatej, the stage is yours. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. For uh, 11th editions now, the Aspen Institute of Romania community has nominated individuals, stories, and organizations for the Aspen Leadership Awards. These are individuals or organizations that through vision, innovation, dedication, perseverance, and duty have become value-based leadership models in our society. With everything they do, these leaders create meaningful social, political, economic and cultural changes. We are deeply honored to recognize them and their contribution to a good society in Romania. This year, Mihnea Constantinescu Value-Based Leadership Award goes to Mr. Jens Stoltenberg, the NATO Secretary General. In a world where we need to adapt to a global shifting balance of power, Mr. Stoltenberg has succeeded in keeping NATO as a unique diplomatic force multiplier, as he so well described the alliance a few years back in Washington. Despite or against any differences between the members of the alliance, Mr. Stoltenberg has managed to relentlessly reinforce a genuine sense of solidarity amongst the allies and led with the message that unity is our only and greatest strength. Indeed, when 29 nations speak with one voice, their voice is more powerful than any other voice in the world. And when this voice is put so fervently in the service of upholding democratic Euro-Atlantic values, it turns into a critical factor of change and stability alike. Through the NATO 2030 vision that Mr. Jens Stoltenberg has proposed for the adoption to the Alliance, he has put values and the protection of the international rules-based order at the core of the NATO agenda. And thus, he has put NATO at the center of the multilateral global system. This not only contributes to perpetuating the relevance of NATO, but also to reassuring that international institutions will continue to strive for peace, for stability and principles enshrined in the very DNA of our free and open societies. It is my pleasure to invite you to listen to the message that uh, Mr. Jens Stoltenberg, the NATO Secretary General, had for the Aspen Institute of Romania this year. Thank you. Thank you so much to the Aspen Institute of Romania for giving me this prestigious award. I am truly honored. Democracy, freedom and the rule of law. NATO was created to defend these values. It is what we have been doing for over seven decades. And it is what this institute has been strongly supporting for the last 15 years. These values have transformed Romania and the wider region of Central and Eastern Europe. They gave people the power to choose created opportunities and possibilities and brought 
equality and stability. But today, our values are under pressure. Authoritarian regimes are pushing back on the international rules-based order and promoting alternative models of governance. They use propaganda and disinformation to try to undermine us, malicious cyber tools to try to disturb us, and they are even weaponizing migration to try to destabilize us. Worldwide, democracy is in decline, and there is less trust in our institutions. So more than ever, we need to demonstrate the strength of our democratic model. This means we all need to stand up for our values. They are the foundation of everything we do. They define who we are and they must continue to guide us in a more complex world. As my good friend and yours, Mircha Joana, would say, democracy is a daily work in progress. So let's continue to work together every day to ensure we can live in freedom and prosperity. I'm sure that this is what Ambassador Konstantinescu would have wanted, and it is what NATO will continue to do now and in the future. So thank you again for this prestigious award and congratulations on the Institute's anniversary. Aspen is about leadership, dialogue and impact. For me, Aspen was the starting point for truly understanding my values. Aspen is a revelation and a revolution. For me, Aspen meant a mind and heart opening experience. The Innovation and Technology Leadership Award is presented to a leader or an organization which brought significant contribution in the field of innovation and research or in the entrepreneurial environment. Innovation stands as a cornerstone to social and economic progress. I invite you to watch the video message of Mr. Frank Kretschmer, General Manager, ExxonMobil Exploration and Production Romania, presenting the award. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It's a real honor for ExxonMobil Exploration and Production Romania to present the Innovation and Technology Leadership Award recognizing an organization which brought significant contribution in the field of innovation and research or the entrepreneurial environment. Innovation and technology is part of ExxonMobil's DNA and basis for our success over the last 135 years. 10,000 patents over the past decade and over $10 billion investments in research to develop and deploy lower emission energy solutions is a strong testimony. We continue to work to develop the next generation of energy solutions, including advanced biofuels, carbon capture and storage, natural gas technologies and new energy efficient processes. ExxonMobil is a proud sponsor of the Aspen Leadership Awards event and it gives me a great pleasure to announce that this year's Innovation and Technology Leadership Award goes to the Romanian startup Fintech OS, a high-tech company launched in 2017 by two Romanian entrepreneurs which knew they had something good on their hands. They decided to join forces and got into startup mode. Fintech OS was born with a vision to empower financial service providers to become truly customer-centric. Fast forward today and the founder's dream is a reality. The startup grew into a global provider of technology for the digital transformation of banks and insurance companies with over $100 billion under management 
350 employees and four offices globally. Congratulations and good luck for more success in the future. Thank you very much. So in the beginning, you had something good on your hands. And now here's another good thing, a prize for you that you thoroughly deserve. Thank Please you. Please welcome Mr. Sergio Negut, CEO and co-founder of FinTech OS. Mr. Negut, the stage is yours. Hey, um, thank you so much. I'm so honored and uh, uh, so touched by, by this prize. Um, it's an honor because it comes from a community and an organization that I respect and admire, Aspen Institute and Aspen Community. And I thank you on my own behalf, on behalf of my CEO and business partner, Teodor Blidarush, and on behalf of the 400 people that already work in FinTech OS, maybe on behalf of a few hundreds more that we will add in the next year. But this is a prize that covers innovation, technology, leadership, and it is not only ours. I think it is a prize that should go to every startup entrepreneur that starts a business somewhere today, especially if that somewhere is not Silicon Valley, is not New York, is not London. Technology is not per se a goal. Technology is something to make our lives better. And technology is that unique thing that can bring that hope of building something great to everyone, everywhere. So I believe this is something for everyone that dares to start something in a small apartment, in a small garage, and dreams big. We don't know how big our company will be. We know we are here to develop something that will change the way software is being built for the financial industry. We believe that the old way of writing code in order to build banking applications, insurance ap applications, and so on, is a bit obsolete. We believe there is a new way with much higher productivity of building end-to-end -end infrastructure. And this is something that we stand for. And this is something that will bring better quality financial services to everyone and will bring financial services to those that are not served currently. We believe in this. It is our part in building a better world. It is a small part because I think this prize and this series of prizes, awards, is something that allows us all to build a better future for everyone, whether we talk about Aspen, whether we talk about entrepreneurial communities in Romania, whether we talk about business communities at large, our goal here is to make the world better. Thank you. The Arts and Society Leadership Award is presented to an individual or an organization who has significantly contributed to the enrichment of Romanian culture, promoted Romania abroad, and supported the overall development of the country's cultural patrimony. It gives me great pleasure to invite on stage Ms. Ina Solomon, Corporate Social Giver, Unicredit Bank, to present this award. Ms. Solomon, the stage belongs to you. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. I am happy and honored to be awarding tonight the 9th Arts and Society Leadership Award. Unicredit has a long-lasting tradition in supporting and promoting social and economic growth, as well as encouraging dialogue on innovation, social cohesion, and the sense of belonging. This year's recipient of the Arts and Society Leadership Award is Cristian Mungiu. He is one of our most talented, hardworking, courageous, and sincere filmmakers. Christian's films are moving emotion. He puts so much of himself in the movies that he brings to life that we cannot but acknowledge the deep-rooted transformation that his creative energy have brought to our culture and society 
both nationally and internationally. He is not just the first Romanian director who has won the prestigious Palme d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival, but also a leader in disguise for our generation. And that is because he unites people's thoughts and emotion into bringing them to believe in a better future and vision, and because he shows us with honesty what can be improved in our culture and society. Congratulations, Christian. Let's watch the video message together. Good evening. Uh, I'm Christian Monju, and I want to thank you very much for uh, this award, for thinking about culture, for thinking about artists. As you know, we live uh, in a period in which Artists are not necessarily in a very privileged place in society. So um, I want to, to thank the Aspen Institute for thinking about me, thinking about cinema, and also for considering the importance of leadership in culture and in society in general. I also want to thank uh, Unicredit, who is a constant supporter of the cultural projects in general and of the cultural projects that we produce. And uh, I want to thank Mrs. Ina Solomon for the kind words that uh, she said about our activity. I think that it is really very important to cultivate and to nourish leadership from a very young age. And as much as our society needs leadership, the cultural domain needs leadership as well. I try as much as I can all the time to pass the knowledge that I have to the next generation and it would be really very, very useful if structures like the Aspen Institute and Unicredit could be uh, could join forces together in this effort of having a more organized society with a, a better future about culture and about uh, the artistic development. Thank you. Aspen brings together a community of people who are an embodiment of the walking inspiration. The values it represents lead our societies to new heights. For me, Aspen is about thinking outside the box, facilitating the efficiency of the team and having great memories with other colleagues. The Aspen New Economy and Society Leadership Program was for me an authentic way for a professional to think and feel like a leader. Aspen is our hope to live in a better world. The Service with Dignity Leadership Award is presented to a Romanian public servant that has proven constant effort to exemplarily fulfill work duties and go beyond those, often at high personal risk. The awardees are men and women that undoubtedly serve as role models for the community. By their impeccable professional and ethical standards, those nominated for this award are seen as guardians of good society, leaders among their peers, and as a source of pride and inspiration. I invite to the stage to offer this award Mr. Vasile Yuga, treasurer and member of the board of Aspen Institute, Romania. Mr. Yuga, welcome. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I am privileged to present on my behalf and on behalf of my wife, the 2021 uh, Service with Dignity Leadership Award of Aspen Institute, Romania. This year we have seen the closing of the 19 years Allied mission in Afghanistan, to which Romania contributed significantly. Overall, Romania contributed 32,000 servicemen to this project, to this mission, and at one point, we had more than 2,000 soldiers in Afghanistan, being the fifth largest contributor after the United States, UK, Germany, and Italy. During the 19 years of presence in Afghanistan, 
27 servicemen from the Romanian contingent lost their lives, and another 227 were wounded. The Afghanistan mission was a real anabasis and a tough learning that changed the DNA of the Romanian military, which evolved into a professional, battle-tested and hardened body against a vicious enemy in a very difficult environment, such as, for instance, Kandahar, the infamous hotbed of insurgents and terrorists. The Romanian contingent earned, first of all, their self-respect, as well as the respect of our allies for their professionalism, commitment, and predictability, being very reliable comrades. Over the years, Aspen Institute praised the contribution of the Romanian servicemen to the Afghanistan mission. And I want to remind you some of the recipients of this award over the last 10 years, starting with Laurentiu Sherban back in 2011, then Catalin Ticulescu in 2016, then the Romania Invictus team in 2017, two members of Romania Invictus team, Laurentiu Sherban and Cipriani Riciuc, and more recently, 812 Bistrița Battalion in 2018. This year, the award goes to the Force Protection Battalion, Martens, Jderi, represented by its commander, Lieutenant Colonel Vasile Mironescu. This group were the last to leave Kandahar Airport in a very tense and chaotic situation. They executed this last assignment in an impeccable manner, with zero losses, men and equipment boarded on the C-17 Globemaster aircrafts. The last Romanian soldier to leave Kandahar Air Base after 19 years of continuous Romanian presence was Lieutenant Colonel Vasilio Minonescu. With this, Romania is closing a mission which was extremely important for us as a nation. Uh, it was about, as I said, earning our self-respect, as well as confidence in our capabilities. In a complicated world, our servicemen contributed the best Romania can bring to the democratic community of nations. Respect to the Romanian servicemen and thank you. I would like to invite on stage Lieutenant Colonel Vasile Mironescu to present to him the award. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's a great honor for me to be here as the last Romanian soldier that left Kandahar Airfield and proud commander of the Force Protection Battalion Martins. The Kandahar Airfield was handed over to the Afghan security forces as part of the NATO Resolute Support Mission Drawdown Process from Afghanistan. The presence of over 32,000 soldiers in Afghanistan theater of operation for the last 20 years has proved that Romania is reliable, committed, and predictable ally. The Romanian military fulfilled its mission both in the fighting units in the Allied headquarters. They were also true ambassadors of their country, and they gained true professionalism, the Allies' respect. Kandahar and southern Afghanistan were the place where the Romanian military managed the proof that they are those loyal and brave allies with initiative who responded present whenever needed. They were there in the hot areas and successfully achieved the proposed objectives. It was difficult from fighting with oneself, personal fears, logistical challenges to insurgent contacts. The end of the mission in Afghanistan is a moment when 
In that Vetabli, we remember with respect the Romanian soldiers who paid the supreme price, as well as the veterans of the Romanian army who participated in mission in this theater of operations. We bow our heads and we will carry forever in our souls, souls and hearts for those who have fallen and we will be together with their families. We have to always be by their side of those who have been injured. Romanian blood flowed in the dust of the Afghanistan desert for peace and stability. I completely felt what it means to work in an alliance and, an, and I am proud to be part of NATO. Don't think it was easy. It was hard, but not impossible. We did our duty. The Martins have fulfilled their mission at Kandahar Airfield. It is hard to put this feeling into words. I am indeed elated that the Force Protection by Martins is found worthy be awarded with the Aspen Service with Dignity Leadership Award 2021. This will constantly remind me of how it all started and the hard work our team put into get here. It gives me so much joy that our efforts are not being overlooked. The award is a big picture of what we did, who we are and where we heading. This will remain a constant reminder in good work comes with an unbelievable achievements. Let this award be a seal of what we can all achieve together. On behalf of the World Battalion, thank you for this award, Semper Simon. Aspen Institute and its outstanding community of fellows is that place where you can engage in consistent conversations no matter the extent of your disagreement or the depth of your agreements. Aspen is a unique experience. Participants leave the seminars with deeper thoughts, different perspectives and new friendships. It has been a great honor for me to contribute to Aspen Romania's moderator. Mulțumesc! For me, Aspen means building bridges where otherwise we would have gaps. My personal look back at the Aspen experience, a sheer reminder of our moral compass and a values-based mutual understanding beyond ideologies. The Sports and Society Leadership Award is presented to an individual or a group who has transformed sports into more than a physical activity. Over the years, the awardees have contributed to popularizing sport, creating mass events and thus furthering public health, have inspired imagination and courage through their teamwork, as well as individual or collective success. The nominees for this award stand as a model of commitment, dedication and professionalism. It gives me great pleasure to invite you to watch the message of Mr. Stephen van Groningen, member of the board of Aspen Institute Romania, CEO and President Raiffeisen Bank, presenting the award. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. As the Aspen Institute's resident Olympian, it gives me great pleasure to announce the winner of the Sports and Society Award this evening. This, year winner, this year's winner is an exceptional athlete, uh, the rare combination of talent, skill, intelligence, hard work and discipline that we so seldom see. Already at the young age of 17, he has achieved world-class results, even Olympic level results. Uh, a rare performance at such a young age. This requires incredible strength, physical strength, but also mental strength. 
And it is for this reason that we believe that he is on a path to excellence and leadership in his domain for many years to come. Tonight's award for sports and society goes to, as you probably have guessed already, the Romanian swimmer David Popovic. Congratulations. Hi, my name is David Popovic and uh, I'd like to thank Aspen Institute for the Sports and Society Award for 2021. This year has been a crazy year full of crazy results and uh, I'm just glad I really was able to kind of put Romania on the map, on the world of swimming and make a lot of people who have supported me happy. The media from uh, all around the country and even from around the globe has been calling me either an alien, the phenomenon, uh, the Romanian rocket, uh, all these names are flattering, but I don't think they character characterize me. Um, I just think I'm a, I'm a guy who loves sport, sport in general, and who also swims, happens to swim very fast. I don't know if I consider myself a model. I consider that I'm still at the beginning of my long journey in, uh, in swimming and also in life. But uh, I'm going slowly but surely, building it brick by brick and um, every day being inspired by the Olympic spirit and the Olympic movement. I try and inspire as many people as well to have a healthy lifestyle and to pick up so sport, whatever sport it is. All I'm trying to do is promoting uh, what sport brings you as an athlete and as a human being. And uh, I believe that if everyone would understand uh, the importance of fair play, respect, unity and all that sport brings you, I think the world would really be a better place. Aspen is a place where you discuss important technical and complex issues within a supportive, committed and fun atmosphere. Conglomeration of bright minds. To me, the Aspen community is the renewable source of inspiration and energy for doing good. It's a safe space for discussing the big ideas and the small happenings of our worlds with the built-in denominator. Like a family Christmas talk, but better. Aspen Institute Romania would like to bring recognition to the activities and initiatives that the Aspen Fellows and alumni put forward in creating social and civic change through the Aspen Social Action Prize. The Aspen Fellows and alumni, the former participants in the Aspen Leadership Programs, are the ones to make nominations and to determine, through their vote, the winning project. It is my pleasure to invite on stage Mr. Julian Trandafir, member of the board Aspen Institute Romania, CEO Alliance Healthcare Romania, to announce the winner of this year's Aspen Social Action Prize. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor and pleasure to support the Aspen Institute Romania in its endeavor to bring recognition to the activities and initiatives that the Aspen fellows and alumni put forward in creating social and civil change through the Aspen Social Action Prize. Every year, numerous projects initiated by Aspen fellows or alumni with a significant development and impact in the past year are nominated and presented to the Aspen community. For this anniversary edition of the Aspen Leadership Awards 2021, the community gathered virtually once again and decided the winner of the Aspen Social Action Prize 2021 through a community vote. Many of the projects developed by Aspen Fellows and alumni address the need for balancing disparities in vulnerable communities and in critical areas of social development. Alliance Healthcare Romania is honored to be partner of Aspen Institute Romania in continuing the tradition of the Aspen Social Action Prize, a 1,000 euro grant offered in recognition 
of the fellows and the alumni's venture and vision of creating projects that have the potential of turning the lives of people that are falling between the cracks to the better. The winner of this year Social Action Prize, according to the vote of the Aspen Fellows and Alumni Community, is the All Grow Project, initiated by Ms. Madalina Bauroche, Aspen Fellows 2019. Through the Social Action Prize Grant, the Aspen Institute Romania supports the All Grow Project in the effort of preparing children from underserved rural communities for tomorrow's world through using social innovation education as an educational model and decreasing their level of civic participation. I, uh, in this moment, I would like to invite Ms. Modelina Boros to take the prize. Congratulations. Thank you and I would much. like to ask you to have a short speech. Thank, Thank you very you so much. much. Thank you. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. This is a quote by Ralph Waldo Emerson that inspires me and the work that we do at All Grow with over 5,000 children across Romania. It can be scary to go places we've never been, and it takes courage to embark on a change-making journey. However, this is what we need the most. We need a generation who is brave, thinks critically and creatively, and is not afraid to innovate and address problems we all face. This is what we do at All Grow, transform children from spectators into the architects of their own future by creating an ecosystem where through practical experiences, they gain the skills and competencies they need today and tomorrow. Led by values such as courage, collaboration, and making a difference, we are working together to create a better future. I would like to thank Aspen Institute Romania for this award and the entire Aspen community. I would also like to thank teachers, children, supporters, family, and friends who believed in us and joined our mission. Together, we all grow. Thank you. In 2021, at the 15th anniversary of Aspen Institute Romania, the Aspen Public Service Leadership Program reached its third edition and doubled its impact. This year, Two generations attended the program dedicated to the most promising leaders of the public sector in Romania, spring and autumn 2021. I invite you to watch the video message of Mr. Alessio Menegazzo, Head of Sustainability and Institutional Affairs NL Romania, Aspen Institute Romania member and partner of the program. Bună ziua tuturor! In primul rând vreau să vă felicit. Sunteți a treia cohorte din programul Public Service Leadership din Institutul Aspen, România. Acest program a pornit la o discuție pe care am avut acum 3-4 ani de zile împreună cu colegii de la Aspen și de la BCR. Acea discuție, dacă țin bine aminte, era despre o nevoie, nevoie de a sprijini conversație și dialog între sectorul public, sectorul privat și societate civilă. Pentru că numai prin un dialog constant și structurat între aceste trei, acest trei stâlpi al societăți, se poate progresa. La vremea respectivă, poate că uh, uh, ideea asta apărea un nice to have, uh, o, uh, aproape un moft, uh, pe care foarte puține persoane îl simțeau, îl simțeau ca și o nevoie imperativă. Astăzi ne trezim într-o situație complet diferită. Pandemia, criza energetică, o situație la nivel geopolitic din ce în ce mai complicată. Și atunci acea idee pe care am avut 3, 4, acum 3-4 ani de zile arată toată validitate și toată importanța ei. Din nou, vreau să vă felicit pentru acest efort și... Vreau să vă trimit un mesaj și de responsabilitate. Viitorul este ceva pe care îl vom construi împreună. Nu există un quick fix, nu va exista o persoană care printr-o bachetă magică va rezolva situații complicate. Va fi un efort constant în care toată lumea va trebui să participe și va fi un percurs lung. 
dar numai prin conversație, dialog și dialog constructiv vom putea să creăm ceva mai bun. Mulțumesc! Thank you very much for your message, Mr. Menegazzo. And now I invite to the stage Mr. Ionut Stanimir, Executive Director Marketing and Communication, Banca Comercială Română, Aspen Fellow, welcome, and partner of the program to give us his message. Welcome. Thank you very much for the invitation. Dear friends, it's one of the most important moments in the year. It's the moment when the Aspen community gathers together to take stock of what has happened and what is to follow. So what is to follow? Well, a decade of tremendous challenges, a decade of tremendous environmental, societal, technology, and not least, public trust challenges. Here, today, we and them become us. And actually, that is the scope of the program, that us together look at the challenges of the future and speak, think, do, act, change, and inspire others. Today, we are facing a tremendous crossover of challenges. We have been through this type of challenges in the past, but never a society, technology, economic, environment, and as I said, public trust challenge, do stay one on top of, of another. So it's our, our duty to tackle those. And it's when we say ours, when I say ours, we actually speak of those who join the program, of those who sponsor the program, of those who manage the program, and of everybody else who is a beneficiary of this program. So at the end of the day, the program, the Aspen Public Service Program, is not only for those who attend it. It's actually for the entire society, our society, our continent, and our planet. And at the end of the day, the result of it, we hope to be action. So think about this. We gather here, we put our minds together, we put our souls, with one purpose only, to think, to speak, to act, and to change the world which we see ahead of us. Because ahead of us, there is a decade which will change the world forever. We must be ready for that, and not only us, but those who come after us. Because this kind of program and this kind of community creates trust not only for the group which attends the public service program, but also for those who follow. So I encourage you to create that trust for you and for those who follow. Thank you everybody who has been involved. It's been a tremendous honor and you have a tremendous responsibility. I know you will raise up to it, so good luck. Thank you very much, Mr. Stanimir. It was a pleasure to listen to your speech. All so best. We're facing a tremendous decade of decisions because we have a lot of challenges stacked on top of one another. It's a first, it's a worldwide first. So in order to face this, all we need to do is for us and them to become we, we need to speak, to think, to act together, and we need to trust each other. Very, very beautiful words. Now, I invite to the stage Ms. Alina Rado, fellow of the spring edition of this year's program, to tell us a few words about her experience with the program. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me today. As one of the youngest Aspen Public Service Leadership Program fellows, it was a true privilege to be able to learn such a great deal from both our mentors and my fellow Aspen colleagues. This interaction restored my deep trust that Romania is in good hands, that our future is promising because of those who have become promoters of change and improvement in the public sector, because of its future leaders. Leaders become great not because of their power, but because of their ability to empower others. This way, the price of power is the responsibility for the public good. Aspen has been for me a place of questions and answers, ideals and challenges, vision and commitment. A place where guidance was provided for me to become the best version of myself. It was a place for authenticity and free speech. Those who can speak can influence, and those who can influence can change lives. My motto has always been, be the change you want to see in this world. So thank you, Aspen, for facilitating my becoming into the change that I envision for this world, for becoming a leader of tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
if this is how the leaders of tomorrow think and speak, we have a good future ahead of us. I will now invite on stage Miss Ana Maria Nicola, participant to the autumn edition of this year's program, to tell us about her experience with the program. Welcome, the stage is yours. Hello, thank you very much. I entered the Aspen Public Service Leadership Program humbled by the idea that I've been selected to represent a generation of young people who are trying to change the face of the educational system in the country. I was also excited to learn new ways of improving our society and happy to meet fellow leaders from the public service environment who, like me, dreamt of a better country for the next generations. The experience of the program itself, however, changed all our expectations because from what we've learned from our Aspen journey so far, public service is more about people and experiences than about anything else. At the end of the first module, one of my fellows said something amazing. She said she has been working for 10 years in public service, in the same office, with the same colleagues, and she knew about their beliefs and their desires and their opinions and their values way less than she learned about all of our group in just three days. Because this Aspen program gave us the opportunity to talk about the greater good, to analyze our role in the public service, to ask ourselves not only how we can change the society we live in, but also why we want to change this. It gave us a space to open up, to share ideas and dream together, and for this we are extremely grateful. And I'm saying we and not me, because the program also managed to do this. It took 22 young professionals who did not know each other, and it turned them into friends. Into friends, it created friendships and professional networks, it allowed us to share ideas while learning about ourselves and also sometimes having fun. It gave us a common voice and a common purpose, to be better young leaders for the next generations who truly deserve better lives and better public service. Thank you for this. Hi, my name is Todd Breifogel, Managing Director of Executive Leadership Seminars at Aspen US. What does Aspen mean to me? As I think about Aspen, it means lifelong learning. It means challenging conversations. It means deep friendship. And it means a place where the human spirit can flourish. And these last two years, we've found many ways online to help the human spirit flourish. We've had an opportunity in recent months to be face to face, uh, but in all of that, what Aspen means to me is that deep sense of connection to ideas, to action, to one another, and to our own selves in a renewed sense of purpose. I wish you and all of Aspen Romania's friends a blessed holiday. And now for the promised part. The Diploma Ceremony of the 2020-2021 generation of the Aspen Young Leaders Program. This is a symbolic moment when we welcome a new generation of Aspen Fellows in the Aspen Romania community. I invite to the stage Mr. Florin Pogonaru, Acting Co-President of Aspen Institute Romania, and Ms. Ioana Antonescu, Leadership Programs Manager for the Diploma Ceremony of the 2020-2021 generation of the Young Leaders Program. It is my pleasure to welcome into the Aspen community the 14th generation of our flagship leaders program, the Aspen Young Leaders. This year has been exceptional in many ways, some good, some bad. Unfortunately, Anna Medeshan is no longer with us. It is with sorrow that we award her posthumously. As the participants are now becoming Aspen Fellows, we hope that the Aspen values will continue to represent the core of all their civic and entrepreneurial act activities. Another exception is that this program has been unusually long. It took you guys two years to finish what other generation managed to finish in one. It is maybe because uh, my son, Andrei Pogonaru, was one of your moderators. Joking aside, congratulations for uh, your long journey and welcome to the Aspen Institute Romania. It is my pleasure 
to invite to the stage the participant of the 2020-2021 generation of Young Leaders program. Larissa Baltag. Beatrice Alexandra Cord. Arina Corsei Vulturanu. Patricia Couzi. Maria Desmiran. Alexandru Dinkovic. Alexandrina Dinga. Ioan Istrate. Vlad Măcelaru. Andrei Claudiu Motoc. Andreea Mădălina Anan. Tudor Oancea. Dragoș Paiu. Radu Popa. Vlad Dan Roman. Claudiu Dorian Staicu. Mihai Tache. Matei Toaber. Și Mihai Zanfir. Congratulations, Matei and Alina, the floor is yours. Hello everyone. We're here today to speak on behalf of the 2020 to 2021 Young Leaders cohort. We wish to have all of you here enjoying the gala together, but unfortunately, given the current circumstance, um, we'll have to do this in a digital format. As we embark on our Aspen Fellow journeys, we'd like to share a few words about what our experience was so far. As we do that, since we all evolved as leaders over the last two years, we'd like to also share with you some key principles that everybody should, uh, should embrace. First of all, resilience. Knowing that there is light at the end of the tunnel, even though you can't see it, being able to resist the temptation to give up, raising above difficult situations and marching forward. This is the single most important thing that makes people successful. 
During the last two years, we have witnessed resilience firsthand through this program. We faced a time like no other, with a pandemic that came with constantly changing quarantine rules. We needed to adapt to a two-year online and in-person program while trying to preserve its core intact. And we went through terrible loss. This generation has shown resilience and adaptability. There are skills that make great leaders adapt to the unknown while being the beacons of light. And this is part of our journey of becoming great leaders. We have to acknowledge though that none of this could have been possible without the great support of the organizing team and we'd like to thank you for that. The core of Aspen modules is debate. The Socratic method made it possible for all of us to express our ideas, but most important, to learn new perspectives. While preparing for this speech, uh, both Mate and I thought about the text with the boy who is sacrificed for the well-being of the rest of the society. It made an impression on both of us. But even now, we realized we see the text differently. One sees it as an opportunity to observe life in many shades of gray, while the other sees it as the proof of the existence of an absolute truth. The text brought to life our values, our beliefs, our fears and desires. Debates created a unique synergy and we all discovered new things about ourselves and also we grew together. Speaking of togetherness, you know, they say that if you, go, if you want to go far, you have to go together. And we understood that as leaders, we cannot succeed alone. We need to collaborate with one another. Even though we naturally, as human beings, gravi being gravitate towards people who are like us, you know, who are part of our tribe. But what's important is that managing to effectively collaborate with those who are not um, is something which we need to learn how to do. During the outdoor exercise, for example, we started off as four different competing team, teams deceiving each other while trying to get an edge. By the end of that day, it became more important for everyone to achieve agreement amongst rivals. I personally had an important revelation that day. There is something better than getting all the beans. The more fulfilling thing is to arrive at common ground where people or teams trust each other and come together for the greater good. Actually, this experience reminded me of a story I heard from a good friend, friend who loves to travel. Uh, in one of his travels, he went to Papua New Guinea, where he spent some time living in a tribe uh, for a couple of weeks, I think. And from his story, I could tell that the people there were very welcoming and they had a beautiful and simple life. They spent their day hunting, gathering fruits, making artistic objects, singing and dancing. But the greatest honor in that tribe was to be the best hunter. Everybody respected and loved the great hunter. But what was so interesting was the fact that in that tribe the rule was that the hunter is not allowed to eat from his prey. So. The thing is that he took the best care of his community by sacrificing his welfare and in exchange the community had the highest respect for him and took care of him and his well-being. So I keep on thinking about this story each time I think about leadership. What makes a leader? Resilience. Yes, the ability to listen to others and learn from them. Of course, teamwork, for sure. But the ingredient that connects all of the above and gives them what they need in order to spark is the ability to put yourself in the service of others. A true leader is humble and realizes he is not a leader for himself but for his community. He is willing to sacrifice his needs for the needs of others. He carries a great amount of responsibility for his community and this is what makes him valuable, loved and respected. We are now young leaders, so let's not forget that we are here to serve others. Awesome. So before we close, I'd like to share a final thought with our colleagues here. That it's been an honor to be part of this alongside yourselves. And I'll leave you with an Irish blessing that used to be said whenever someone was embarking on a journey. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. 
And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Thank you. Thank you. Impressive congratulations. Two of the participants were unable to join us today, Ms. Veronika Stefan and Mr. Kaloyan Stoichev. Thank you again. Thank you for making me feel that this year was a really good year. The Young Leaders Program does not end here. It is a journey that continues in the Aspen community long after the official program has ended. I invite to the stage Mr. Bogdan Iwan, Aspen Fellow from the 2017 generation and Aspen Fellows Network President, to offer the Aspen Fellows Network grant to the community project of the year 2020-2021 YLP generation. Mr. Iwan, please, the stage is yours. Thank you. Four years ago, December 2017, I was in a grand ballroom, downtown Bucharest, in a high-level audience, attending a magnificent black tie ceremony. I was enchanted by the event, but listening to the speakers and paying attention to the other people in the audience, a few questions circled in the back of my mind. How can we improve society? I was thinking mostly about Romania and neighboring countries, but I was hoping for ideas that would not limit themselves geographically. How can we make so that we move values front stage and minimize the impact of immorality? And what would be a fair process for a group to prioritize values? A short while later from that event, my generation's gala, I found out about the opportunities that IFN brings, involved myself and devoted part of my time and effort to it. The Aspen Fellows Network, AFN, supports the continuous development of its members as role models for value-based, responsible and enlightened leadership and furthers the capabilities of its members to advance society. We do this now by regular meetings, relevant discussion topics, pairing fellows that could uphold each other and encouraging events and supporting projects initiated by members of the network, all the while creating new ways of fulfilling our mission. The network members are influential individuals in their line of work who are themselves sources of inspiration and you, Generation 2020-2021, are no exception. We welcome you to join the Fellows Network after the diploma ceremony to get involved with your time and skills or to support the network by your contributions, whether you live in your country or abroad. For today, the world is one. We are all leaves and branches on the same tree. I am most honored to present the AFN grant our small token of support and gratitude for all the projects that emerged from the last cohort. And the 2021 AFN grant goes to the Tech Sisterhood Project, <laughs> initiated by Patricia Kouts, Vlad Macelaru, Andrei Motok, Madalina Nan, Tudor Wancha, Vlad Roman, Claudiu Staicu, Veronica Ștefan, Mihai Tache, Matei Toader, and Ioan Istrate. Thank you. And thank you for the AFN, as well as for the entire Aspen community, for this opportunity to be here today, first of all, and to receive this grant. On behalf of the Tech Sisterhood team, as well as on behalf of all the other project teams, I wanted to thank the AFN as well as the Aspen community for your support and commitment. We hope that this is just the first step in the journey to make Tech Sisterhood happen. For our team, as well as for all the other amazing project teams, um, the Aspen community project has been the culmination of our shared experiences during the program. We were indeed challenged by these uncertain years, by losses, by the program experience itself, by the text and ideas <coughs> we shared in the program. Through these, we tried to see how to apply the learnings in the real world surrounded us and to bring our contribution to a better society. Through this, um, we started to see what we can do realistically in real life with the resources and capabilities we have. Through the great idea of our colleague Mihai Take, we saw an opportunity in the IT sector here in Romania in the region. 
particularly we Romanians and all the others around us, take pride in, in the IT industry. We think it's a great contributor to the economy, and it is. But the reality is that it hides an inconvenient truth. You see, Romania is actually last in the European Union in terms <coughs> of the digital scorecard for women representations in IT. Only one in four people in IT in Romania are women. And all, all of this happens while we take pride in the great opportunities we offer through our team. So we started to envision what we can do with, with our limited resources, our growing networks, and the broader Aspen community. Through this, we envisioned an organization, an initiative, that can help bridge this gap. We want to connect with young women from universities, maybe even from high school in the future, but from areas which are not uh, so well represented now, not from the big cities that have major IT hubs, not from the major universities, and maybe the ones that don't envision IT as a career path to them. And we want to help them through several ways, and we actually started doing this. First, we want to show them through role models in IT leaders who are women across the world, particularly Romanian, if possible. We want to bridge the gap between them and the companies and create custom and tailored paths to have a job in IT in one of the major companies uh, in the country, maybe even beyond. And actually, we have already started discussing with several major IT companies, as well as with uh, women leaders in IT across the world, not only in Romania, but also in the US, London, and, and in other places. We also took to heart the feedback we received um, in the session where we presented our project, and we look forward to, to improving our ideas. With my final thought, I would like to invite all the other members of our generation, as well as the entire community to join us in our team and to help make Romania a more uh, welcoming and representative countries for women in IT. Thank you. We hope you all had a wonderful evening so far and that you will continue to provide the energy of the Aspen community in the years to come. This is a community for leaders that have the vision, values and commitment to taking further the promise of the good society. We thank the sponsors of this wonderful event for their devotion to the Aspen idea. Award sponsors Raiffeisen Bank, Unicredit Bank, ExxonMobil, Ms. Catalina Yuga and Mr. Vasile Yuga. Aspen Social Action Prize sponsor Alliance Healthcare Romania, Gold Leaf sponsors Merck Class and Orion, media partner Ager Press. Thank you. I wish you all to have wonderful holidays.